Hi, and welcome. So I'm in the process of reviving this channel, and I wanted to start some series on some interesting topics, which will probably m most likely be in wireless communications or digital signal processing. And I figured that doing a few videos with GNU Radio uh, would be a pretty good place to start. So this will be the first in hopefully a series of videos on GNU Radio, and we're going to start off with probably the most simple thing you can create, which is an FM transmitter. So the hardware that I'm going to use in this example is a HackRF, and we're going to configure the HackRF as an FM transmitter using the software that I have open right here, uh, which is GNU Radio. And it's a free and open source, um, and pretty easy to use toolkit. It contains a lot of cool signal processing blocks that you can use to configure your software defined radio. So we're going to start off by just creating a simulation of the transmitter. And then after we verify that the simulation works, we are going to move on to creating the actual transmitter. And then later on in this video, I'll show you a demonstration of it being used. When you start a new project in GNU Radio, you'll automatically have these two blocks here up in the top left corner. So this one imports all the libraries um, that we'll need to set up the GNU Radio environment. And so we can double click on it and in the general tab we can look at some of the various options that we can change. We're actually going to change the generate options to WX GUI. Then for each block, you can go to the Generated Code tab and see the actual Python code that is generated when you place this block down. So let's hit Apply and OK. This block here is a variable and we can double click to set the variable name and its value. And we'll keep this at the sampling rate, but we will change it to 44.1 K, which is the sampling rate of the audio file that we're going to be transmitting. Hit apply and OK. Because we're going to transmit an audio file that I have saved on my computer here, we're going to need to use a file source. So over here on the right, um, we have all the blocks that we can use. In let's go to core, audio, and then go down to wave file source, and then double click and just paste whatever the location of your audio source is, press apply and OK. And so this generates our audio source, but I found that GNU Radio doesn't tend to like it if you just use this alone. There's a lot of distortion. A workaround for this is to use an audio source as well. So drop that down, change the sampling rate to 44.1 kilohertz, press apply. And then we're basically just going to add these two sources together, but we're going to multiply the audio source by zero so that it gets canceled out in the summation. So let's go down to math operators, multiply constant, and note that the output of the audio source is orange and the input of the multiply constant is blue. So the color of these signifies the data type being used. So orange is a float, blue is a complex number, so we need to match them, so let's double click, change to float, press apply and OK, and then we can connect them up. And then let's also drop an add block. Again, change the data type to float, and then we can connect our two sources together. And this basically just generates our audio source. So now we need to modulate the signal, so let's go down to modulators, Wideband FM transmit, drop that, connect that up, and then let's double click and the audio rate is going to be SAMP rate, that's the variable that we set a moment ago, and then do the same thing for quadrature rate, and hit apply and OK. So notice that the audio rate and the quadrature rate here on the, on the transmit, they're red and so it's giving us a data type error. So let's go back into the variable, the sample rate variable, and this value actually needs to be cast as an integer. So let's just put int at the beginning, and then there, so the error goes away. But before we transmit, we're going to upsample the signal. So let's go into resamplers, rational resampler, 
and then let's upsample by 100. So next we are ready to transmit. So for the sake of simulation, let's put a channel model in between the transmit and receive just to kind of add a noise floor. Uh, so in channel models, click channel model and then connect that up. And so this is a good time to actually use a slider variable. So in channel model, notice that there's a noise voltage. We can actually set this to a variable, let's call it noise, press apply. Then in GUI widgets, let's go to WX, slider, drag that, double click. Let's set its ID to the variable name, noise set the default to 0, the minimum to 0, and then the maximum value to 1. So when we run this, this will give us a slider that we can adjust to play around with the noise in the channel model. So that's more or less it for the transmitter. Now we can just put together the receiver and that's pretty much just doing the reverse of what we just did. So we need to grab another resampler because we're going to downsample it by 100. So instead of interpolation, set that to 1, set decimation to 100. Next, we're going to go back into modulators and grab the wideband FM receive. Drop that. Then we're going to go back into math operators and grab a multiply constant. And we're going to use this as a volume. So double click, set that to a float. Connect that up. And again, let's actually use a slider for this. So let's set the constant to vol. Press OK. Let's grab, copy and paste another GUI slider. Double click. Set the name to vol. The default value will be 1. The minimum value will be 1. And let's set the maximum to 10. Hit apply. Next, let's go back into audio, grab an audio sync, connect that to our multiply constant. And so that's already set to the sampling rate. And you can leave device name blank. If it's empty, then it will just set the default device. And then let's drop in two FFT plots in instrumentation, WX, WX GUI FFT sync. Let's drop two of those. One will show the receiver, but we need to set it to a float. Connect that up to multiply constant. Then let's set this other FFT up to the output of the transmit. So before we can run this, it looks like there are some errors in the receive. Uh, so I forgot to set the quadrature rate, so that will just be the samp rate. And then the audio decimation, set that to one since we don't want to downsample press OK. And then another thing is in the wideband FM transmit, double click that and change the max deviation to 5000 instead of 75,000. And the audio should sound a little bit better. And that's it. So now we can hit run up here. Our ancestors understood origins by extrapolating. So this plot up here, this shows what well is being transmitted. This is the spectrum being transmitted. So the universe was and then down here is the demodulated plot. Conceived um, of a sexual congress of a mother god and a so we can god. adjust the noise or was it kind of product with of the this slider workshop. right here. You can see the more of a noise floor on the receiver. Attempts. And then the we can also adjust the volume right receive. here. On this slide. And not much older than our written or oral records, and nowhere very different from places that we know. We've tended in our cosmologies to make things familiar. Despite all our... That's the simulation. Now, to do this on hardware is actually even simpler. We can get rid of everything after the channel model, including the channel model. Let's keep the rational resampler. Then we need to drop the HackRF sync. In my GNU radio, um, the sync is not in a specified tree, so it's in this no module specified in syncs. Then OsmoCon sync, drop that, connect that to the resampler. Now double click, and we need to set the correct sample rate. 
we are taking the sample rate and we're upsampling it by 100. So we need to multiply sample rate by 100. Here on this frequency, we can set which frequency we're going to transmit on. I'm going to transmit on the 152 megahertz. And this is within the ham radio band. So you will need a license to transmit on this frequency band. So just keep that in mind. And then hit apply. All right, so here's the setup. We have a HackRF plugged into the computer, which is running the flowchart that we just created. And then here on the receiver, there's this Baofeng, which is tuned to 152 megahertz. And I can just hit play. Our ancestors right, now it's transmitting. Origins by extrapolating from their own experience. How else could they have done it? So the universe here's the FFT plot. Like I said, hopefully this is the first video in a series of similar videos uh, using GNU Radio and HackRF and other SDRs. Currently I'm planning the next video to be on digital audio and then digital messaging, sending images between SDRs and streaming video. So I'll be working on those, and well, for now, uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and thank you for watching.